I selected these objects from the Chaos Cosmos library, by placing these objects on the table with the simple tool move, I will need to make many micro adjustments wasting time and position instead of move we can use select and place, much faster and more accurate. Let's see how it works, you need only to activate select and place, click on the model you want to move and drag it on a surface, as you see the object attaches to any surface. But beware by repositioning the table all the objects might become detached, so we should to realign them. We can solve this by using auto parent option. With this option active every object placed on the table will become a child of the table in terms of position. Now if we move the table, the connected objects will move with it. Now let's try to place objects on the wall, if we use the default Z plus alignment, it will place it incorrectly. Here we must choose the Y axis which is the normal of its base. Now you can see that, the Select and Place tool in 3ds Max is a versatile and powerful feature that empowers 3D artists to effortlessly position any object on any surface with precision, whether it's placing furniture in an interior scene, distributing plants across a landscape, or assembling complex mechanical structures, streamlining the creation of intricate 3D environments while dramatically boosting workflow efficiency and allowing for quick iterations in design. The select and place tool using the gizmo as the alignment point, this is the primary reason for such precise alignment indeed all Cosmos models as you have the gizmo correctly aligned with the base, which is why this tool works perfectly by default. It should be noted however that sometimes models do have the gizmo somewhere. So in this case we need to active use base as pivot. Once you have activated this, the base or the lowest polygon of the object will align with underlined surface. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Have questions or want to see more 3ds Max tutorials? Leave a comment below. Until next time.